Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we went to the North Domain to figure out, find out that everything was frozen. And we also discovered this ice cavern. And in this part, we're going to continue farther in to see if we can find out what's going on. Okay. This is actually our introduction to... Well, for one, that thing. And two, silver rupee puzzles. Because basically, you have to collect all the silver rupees in order to unlock a door. And oh yeah. Um, the pots now hate you. Well, some of them anyway. They will actually fly at you and try to hurt you now. So that's gonna be a thing from now on. Okay. As you can see, there's a sculpture up here too. Okay. The last one's hovering up in the air there. Hovering up in the air there. Jeez. So I'm gonna have to jump to it. Okay. Let's get away from this spinning blade of annoyance and death. You can die. And in here is something even more annoying than the spinning blades of death. We have our introduction to ice keys. Which are exactly what it sounds like. Keys that will fly into you and freeze you. Highly recommended you try to get rid of these before going too far in this room. Because they will make life miserable. Come on. Got it. Okay. Oh, and to prove Din's fire does what I said it does. The fact that it's not Din's fire isn't proof enough. Okay, we actually got the one down there, too. Really. Really now. Oh well. What's this over here? This blue fire. It doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something? Okay, this is a new mechanic. I'd recommend getting at least two bottles of this. You put blue fire- uh, a blue fire into the bottle? Okay. It's a cool flame you can use to see. Alright. Now, as you would expect, blue fire melts red ice. This is going to be a thing for the rest of the dungeon. So like I said, I recommend you keep at least two bottles of the stuff at all times. It's annoying, but what are you gonna do? Anyway, in this chest, it's the dungeon map. Hooray! Go ahead and refill my bottle, and let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure it's just rupees in that pot. You can get them if you want to. I'm just gonna ignore you. Okay. So you can see there are two ways we can go. Um, the way forward is to the right, so I'm going to go to the left first. You don't have to come here, but there's some good stuff in it for you. So let's see what we, see what we got. More keys. More blue fire. Let's 
see what we got here. What's gonna be? What's gonna be? As if I didn't already know. You got the compass! So yeah, there's that if you want it. I don't really see why you would, since this dungeon isn't really that big at all. Ooh, but I will definitely take this. So if anything, you're gonna want to come here for the heart piece. And yes, it is a Skultula. He thinks he's cleverly hidden here. Not. Okay. Go ahead and refill your bottles. I have to say, that face when Link puts something in the bottle... What is that face? Like... What expression is this? Okay, I'll admit that's another thing I got from really freaking clever, but... He makes a good point. That is one weird... Happy face, if that's what it is. Oh well. Go ahead and melt this next. Ice keys. And let's go ahead and get rid of these guys before they make our life miserable. Where's the? Come on, Link. Okay. And one more. Okay. And this is a silver rupee slash ice block puzzle. All kinds of fun. But first, there's a the Skulltula. It. You definitely do not want to fall into these pits. Yeah, if you fall into one of these pits, you get sent to the bright. You get sent all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon. So yeah, don't do it. Okay. That's one. This puzzle looks bad, but it's really not. the animation takes so long. Okay. Now, we can't really do anything else with the block except push in the pit. Go ahead and do that and it'll pop back over here. Push it to the left this time. Hop down, Link. Okay. Carefully remove to maneuver to the other side of it so you can push it this way. Barely got it. And now we'll go ahead and grab the last rupee. Then I think we're gonna end this off. Okay, so next time at Ocarina of Time, we'll most likely finish the ice cavern. See you guys then.